Hi, everyone. Today, let's talk about Delta Airlines, then we'll go over the PPI data, then we'll go over just a few charts. If you like trading stocks and options and making money, definitely like and subscribe. Let's get started. So they say Delta Airlines posted a quarterly loss. I'm not quite sure why that is. When we take a look at the earnings per share here, you can see they reported an adjusted earnings per share of 25 cents versus 30 cents expected, which to me says that they earned at least a small profit here. Adjusted revenue, 11.84 billion compared to 11.99 billion. And they're forecasting an earnings per share on an annualized basis between $2 and two and a quarter. So so this is pretty good bump for them. They say they plan to grow their capacity by 17%. Fuel costs were up this year, which is definitely an issue for them. They do mention that they're expecting a lot of demand in the spring and summer season, which is traditionally their high season for travel. But as a result of their upbeat forecast, you can see they're up more than 3% in pre-market trading. Definitely a stock worth watching for today's session. And it's interesting to see a company like Delta. They are generally the best in class when it comes to airlines, in my opinion. But if they're forecasting some pretty good growth here and demand in the summer, it's definitely an interesting contrast with the recessionary fears that we've seen pretty much in all the rest of the sectors. Moving over to the economic calendar, you can see PPI actually came in a little bit better than expectations. Core month over month was minus 0.1 compared to 0.3 expectation. Year over year, core was as expected. Headline minus 0.5%, much better than the 0.1% expectations. And then year over year, 0.27 compared to 0.3. And then looking at jobless claims, a little bit higher than expectation. This has been fairly consistent here, 239,000 versus 232,000. But the average for the four weeks was 240K, which was slightly better than the 253 expectation, but higher than the previous read. Overall, pretty good on PPI. I don't think this is going to impact the markets that strongly, especially with what we saw on CPI, but it does seem like markets are up a little bit. Moving over to the charts here, starting with Delta Airlines, you can see the big move down that we had yesterday, pretty flat into the close, and then rallied here on their earnings data. On the daily chart, you can see it's definitely ranging. We have a clear double bottom here at 28.53, pretty clear topping formation up at 39.77, and we're right back in the middle of this range, so no bias here on Delta. You could certainly argue that it's going to have some follow through based on its earnings and then a little bit lower PPI this morning to give it a boost. Rallied all the way up to $35 after touching $33 yesterday. Realistically, you'd like to see it get above $34.70 to see if we're going to get that continuation. I have a level up here at $35.68, the high from this previous consolidation in November. If we can get above that, $36.93 is your next level, the low from this double top. If we get through there, though, then you could look at $39.37 as a potential price target. It. Overall, slightly bullish here on Delta, despite the ranging markets that we've had on the daily chart. Moving over to the NASDAQ just for a moment to see that PPI reaction. You can see we had a little bit of a spike on the 15 chart. Got very close to VWAP here, which is still trending down. Somewhat neutral here in the after hours and pre-market. Gapped up slightly. We've been ranging right at this 314 level. Four hour though, still very bearish. You can see below the 9 and 21 EMAs as well as the 55 EMA. VWAP sitting here at the 21 EMA as well. RSI still bearish. Momentum still bearish. Overall, still bearish on the NASDAQ and really looking down at that 310.80 level for a potential price target for today. Moving over to the dollar here just for a moment, it continues to trend down, which is slightly bullish for stocks. We did get below this low from April, but we're still sitting at that support level. Really want to see this breakdown if we're going to go lower. You can see that level that we established here previously. Overall, this looks bearish, which should give equities a little bit of potential room to the upside. This is really my only concern for equities potentially going higher. If the dollar does go lower, that might prop up equities. And this inflation report is not likely to help out the dollar too much. So keep an eye on this one. If it does start to bounce into the mid-session, that could be very bearish for equities. But right now, we're still waiting to see what happens at this 101.25 level. And lastly, here for charts, talking about the VIX one more time, you can see we gapped up tested some of these resistance levels, and then we fell here on the PPI data. Does look like a potential higher low setup, slightly above the low from April 11th. Daily chart still moving into bullish territory on momentum. RSI, you'd like to see this get above the SMA. We still haven't really done that yet on the daily chart. Still stuck in this range, waiting to see what happens. 20 though, that should be pretty bearish, and start to see some lower lows here on the markets.
Let me know down in the comment section what you think of Delta Airlines or the PPI report. Can we stage a little bit of a comeback after yesterday's down move? Or are we going to continue the downtrend? Definitely like and subscribe if you got any value out of this video. Make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Of course, none of this is financial advice. This is all for entertainment purposes. Good luck in your trading and have a great day.